This is your WFHR Daily News Roundup for locally grown radio 97.5 FM and 1320 AM and West Country 105.5 FM WIRI in Wisconsin Rapids. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Northland College in Ashland has a little more than two days to raise $12 million to stay in business. An emergency fundraiser ends at midnight Wednesday. The Board of Trustees admits in a letter issued last week they have a long way to go to reach their goal. Meanwhile, Northland faculty are offering a plan to cut costs and increase revenue. It includes reducing enrollment and renting out some student housing to the public. Critics of President Biden's Gaza policy want to send him a message. They're urging at least 20,000 Wisconsin Democrats to vote uninstructed in tomorrow's presidential primary. That is the margin of victory that won Wisconsin for Joe Biden in 2020. Um, We're hoping to get at least 15 percent of the vote statewide to gain delegates for the DNC in Chicago this summer. Heba Muhammad is with the group Listen to Wisconsin. She spoke with WISN-TV's Upfront. Wisconsin Democrats hope candidates running under newly drawn legislative maps could mean more votes for the Biden-Harris ticket in November. State Democratic Party Chairman Ben Wickler calls the idea reverse coattails. The race between Biden and Donald Trump is expected to be fought at the margins in battleground states like Wisconsin. Wisconsin Congressman Mike Gallagher is reportedly taking a job with a data security business. Those reports say Gallagher is joining the firm Palantir, which focuses on national and international security. One of Gallagher's main causes was concerns about the security risks posed by the social media app TikTok. Gallagher leaves Congress on the 19th. Children in Wisconsin from low-income homes will get nutritious food this summer. Wisconsin is taking part in the federal Summer Electronic Benefit Transfer Program. Qualifying families will get preloaded debit cards to use to buy groceries. We've got families with low incomes, most of them working, by the way, but just not able to put that extra meal on the table for kids who are at home during the summer months. Shelly Forner is with the Hunger Task Force of La Crosse. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Melissa Kay. The intersection of Lincoln and Chestnut Streets in Wisconsin Rapids are closed to through traffic starting today through May 31st. Traffic will be detoured on East Grand Avenue, 8th Street South, and the East Riverview Expressway. The average gas prices across the state fell 4.6 cents per gallon over the last week. The average today is $3.35. This is 9 cents higher than a month ago and 1.8 cents higher than this time last year. After four weeks, price increases have finally slowed a bit. Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, said those in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast regions may still see some increases as they continue to transition to summer gasoline. He said the rest of the nation is likely close to a top in prices unless there are extenuating circumstances. Prices in central Wisconsin today range from 320 to 327 per gallon. The next drug take-back day is scheduled for April 27th in Wood County. You can drop off unused or expired medications from 10 to 2 at the Marshfield City Hall. There will be additional drop-off locations at the Pittsville Police Department, the Port Edwards Fire Department, the Town of Rome Police Department, and the Wisconsin Rapids Pick and Save. You can find the full list of hours at each location and what is accepted and what is not at doseofrealitywi.gov or contact the Wood County Health Department at 715-421-8911. Today is the last day to register for the Diversity in Business Luncheon taking place April 8th at Mid-State Technical College. The discussion panel will be from 11 to 1.30 at the Wisconsin Rapids campus. Admission is $35 for members of the Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce and $45 for non-members. A buffet-style lunch is included in your registration fee. Spring Election Day is tomorrow in Wisconsin. You can verify your registration status, find your polling place, and see what's on your ballot at myvote.wi.gov. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow, April 2nd. You need to be in line by 8 p.m. to vote. If you haven't registered, you can register in person on Election Day. You'll need to show a proof of residence document. It must contain your name and current residential address. Examples include a bank statement, recent electric bill, or a current and valid Wisconsin driver's license or state ID card. You'll need to bring your photo ID to your polling place. With the Easter celebration over the weekend, many have a surplus of holiday leftovers. To err on the side of caution, any leftovers that have been left out for more than two hours should be thrown away. 
you should freeze or consume any leftovers within four days. You'll be able to bid on artwork painted by animals at Wildwood Park and Zoo starting today. The zookeepers have been working with the animals on their artistic skills over the past month in preparation for this day. News 9 reports the bears Boda and Munzee have been participating in the event for the past eight years. Now other animals are taking part as well for this fundraiser that helps with the free programs throughout the year. The animals make the art by licking honey off the plastic covering a preloaded canvas. You can find the auction on the Wildwood Park and Zoo Facebook page. It ends at noon on Friday. The Mini Rod and Garden Tractor Pull will take place this weekend at the Cedar Lake Arena in New Richmond. Pulling starts at 10 a.m. on April 5th and 6th. Its $5 admission in ages 10 and under are free. Visit MidwestSuperPull.com for more information. And that's what you need to know. I'm Melissa Kay, WFHR and WIRI News. The Brewers sweep the Mets. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. The Brewers with a 4-1 win to complete a three-game sweep of the Mets. On Saturday, Mets pitcher Johan Ramirez ejected for throwing a wild pitch at Milwaukee's Reese Hoskins a day after his hard slide into second base. Driven in four runs. And that oh. one sails over his head. Oh, boy. I don't know if there was intent involved. Oh, boy. The umpires are all gathered. I don't know exactly what they're discussing, whether to issue warnings. They just threw Ramirez out of the game. Oh, wow. The Mets manager, Carlos Mendoza, suspended one game. Ramirez appealing a three-game suspension. The Brewers, Reese Hoskins. People boo you. People doubt you. People do whatever they do. Um, Big leaders don't miss by eight feet. NBA, the Bucks with a win in Atlanta over the weekend. They play the Wizards tomorrow night. College basketball, the Badgers women's team in the WNIT Grade 8. They host St. Louis in the Kohl Center tonight. You know, obviously really excited for our players um, and the program to be able to take another step towards what it is that we're trying to accomplish and being able to, to play. I think our kids are really excited. I'm really excited. And um, I think, you know, it shows uh, that we're headed in the right direction. That's Wisconsin's women head coach marissa mosley with sports i'm mike clemens on your entertainment beat i'm pete schwaba boss fans meet bear fans bear fans meet boss fans variety reports that jeremy allen white is in talks to play bruce springsteen in a film about the making of springsteen's 1983 album nebraska the film is called deliver me from nowhere the album was a critically acclaimed departure for bruce and is an adaptation of warren zane's 2023 book of the same name A floating door prop from the film The Titanic that saved leading Lady Rose's life has been auctioned off with other movie memorabilia. It's the piece of wood Rose and Jack were floating on as they waited to be rescued. Eventually, Jack vacated his half of the prop and got in the water so Rose could live. The prop was sold for $718,000. That might sound like a lot, but if you finance with PayPal, you can pay it off in six months interest-free. That's just six easy payments of 120 Gs for a piece of wood with water damage. Whoopi Goldberg says aliens are among us. The subject came up on The View when Ghostbusters Frozen Empire star Kumil Nanjiani was on the show and said he didn't believe in ghosts, but might believe in aliens. Whoopi wasted no time saying they're already among us, at which point co-host Sonny Hostin joked, aliens are talking to Whoopi. Goldberg continued saying we always need to be aware because that is the nature of being an earthling. I knew it. Speaking of sci-fi, I'm back and forth with the genre, to be honest, but the show Three-Body Problem was really intriguing and kept my interest once it got going. It's a story about a group of scientists and a policeman who try to fend off an invasion of aliens who barrel toward Earth after receiving a signal in the 60s. The show is based on a book of the same title, but Whoopi Goldberg thinks it's real. There is trouble in paradise, but the good news is that 62-year-old Tom Cruise is available again, ladies. His Russian socialite girlfriend, Alcina Karova, 25 years his junior, says she is ending the relationship. The news comes just a month after a publicity stunt announced their courtship to the world, which is definitely legit because Cruise does all his own stunts. Karova is in the process of divorcing her diamond-dealing Russian oligarch husband. Translation? She told Cruise to get a second job or they were done. The hips really do tell the truth. And now there is proof. Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore gave pop star Shakira's famous hips a polygraph test to see if they do or do not, in fact, lie. Get it? The gag was part of a cold open on The Tonight Show. 
Fallon and Barrymore monitored the results as the pop star shook her famous hips, which they concluded were not lying. Shakira felt vindicated and breathed a sigh of relief because polygraphs aren't always accurate, and she was looking at life without parole. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwamba, every night between 7 and 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. It is going to be cloudy with scattered off and on rain showers today. Our high 47 this afternoon. The wind east to northeast at 5 to 15. Tonight, partly cloudy, 29. Tomorrow, some sun in the morning, then cloudy with scattered showers in the afternoon near 50. By Wednesday, partly cloudy and windy with a high of 46. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 35. That's your WFHR and WIRI Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WFHR.com or Wiscountry. That's W-I-S-Country.com.